Hi guys in another video by mTech Pro. Apple's iPhone 13 may still be a ways away, but we have exclusive leaks. From everything we've heard so far, the iPhone 13 is set to offer a 120Hz LTPO display on both Pro models, improved battery life and 5G network, as well as substantial upgrades to the all-important cameras. That includes a lighter sensor on cheaper iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini, as well as a new portrait video mode. As for the design, we've heard that the notch is shrinking, and at least one iPhone 13 model may come with a truly portless design. That's actually possible now that we have MagSafe charging. We could finally see an always-on display. So, as we know according to leaks and rumors, Apple will once again offer four sizes for the iPhone 13. So you can expect a 5.4-inch iPhone 13 mini, a 6.1-inch iPhone 13, a 6.1-inch iPhone 13 Pro and a 6.7-inch iPhone 13 Pro Max. We'd expect these to cost the same as the iPhone 12 range. A newer leak from claimed industry sources has also noted that the iPhone 13 will have a smaller notch. Apple will apparently achieve this notch downsizing by combining the currently separated infrared flood illuminator, sensor and dot projector, which make up the iPhone 12's Face ID unlocking system, into a single module. With two fewer sensors required, we should see a much narrower notch on the iPhone 13. In addition, the iPhone 13 may be slightly thicker, which would allow for a larger battery. The biggest change we can expect from the iPhone 13 is that one model could feature a portless design, dropping the lightning port and opting for charging and data transfer to be carried out wirelessly. That would be a radical change from the iPhone 12, but could also spark a move for the smartphone world to slowly ditch its reliance on ports and bundle chargers and cables. We can expect there to be an iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max, but things aren't so clear on whether there will be an iPhone 13 mini. The iPhone 12 mini hasn't sold very well and can be considered a flop. This has led to speculation that it might be killed off. But a new leak has the iPhone 13 mini still tipped to be coming. According to a report in Bloomberg, Apple is working on offering an in-display fingerprint sensor for the iPhone 13. This would be in addition to Face ID. As night follows day, so too can we expect a chip upgrade for the iPhone 13 over its predecessor. It's likely this will come in the form of the A15 Bionic, a successor to the very powerful A14 Bionic in the iPhone 12. So if the iPhone 13 release date follows Apple's pattern for previous launches, we could see this device hit shelves on the fourth Friday of September 2021. Thanks for watching everybody, see you in another video.